Today we're going to talk about receptors and agonists and antagonists and their relationships. We'll start with the receptor. A receptor is a location on a cell surface where certain molecules such as enzymes and neurotransmitters attach or interact with cellular components. This can be the wall outlet. The wall is a cell wall and the outlet is a receptor on the outside of the cell. Next comes the agonist. The agonist is a medication, hormone, or enzyme that can mimic the receptor activity regulated by indigenous compounds. Angiotensin II is an example of a naturally occurring agonist that when it binds to the cell, it causes narrowing of the blood vessels and increases your blood pressure. In our example, the agonist is the lamp, and when it plugs into the receptor, it activates it, and it turns on, and we have light. Okay. Sometimes you may not want the light to turn on, so it needs to be, the receptor needs to be blocked. In this example, the patient will be given an antagonist. An antagonist is a medication that can block normal receptor activity regulated by indigenous compounds. As an example of an antagonist is the angiotensin II receptor blocker. It blocks angiotensin, which is our light, II from binding to its receptors on the cells. So angiotensin II comes in and can't bind because our blocker is in the way. And we have no light.